everyone, and welcome to this businesstraining.com video module on getting your news to spread online. So the move online has occurred, I think, because of uh, really the, the changes that PR has seen in the past decade or so. And really those changes, I think, are contributed to the internet and social media. There's so much that these can do for a customer and company alike. The opportunities it also provides really advocates the advice for everyone to take advantage of the connections that social media can create. Now, while relationships created online are quite different than relationships created offline, buyers are still looking for a connection of any sort, especially when they are online already interacting with other buyers and companies. And that leads me to why social media is important. The first thing about it is that simply your customers are already there. Your competition is already there as well. You know, the internet has a lot of reasons to um, really fit into a PR plan, especially if your target market is already there. Uh, the lastly is, is the best thing about the whole social media thing is that's free. You know, that's that means that you get to use these social media tools and sites at a minimal or no cost to you because they're not um, really costing much money to sign up for things. Now, if you want to advertise on these social media sites, that's a little different. But the, you know, the only thing that you need to invest is your time, which can also be costly, but it's a win-win situation and a give and take if you want to really see the benefit from social media. Now, though the internet is an amazing creation, offline PR and marketing isn't going anywhere, at least for now. The lines between what is classified as TV, newspaper, magazines, and other sources of entertainment or news are ever blurring because you can watch TV shows on any network sites and you can surf the web on your TV. So what does that mean for PR? That you simply need to be in more places at the same time. More importantly, it means that you cannot ignore offline media. They still play a large role in the lives of people who are offline and still receiving their news that way. And I'm not sure exactly who those people are, but they appear to have a, you know money still to purchase things. So long as these people fit into your target market, you must incorporate them into your messaging tactics so that you can have the greatest reach. There really is no harm in going for a media vehicle that is still in contact with the offline world because most already post it to their blogs, their Twitter accounts, um, you know, wherever that they upload this to because they also want to cast a wide net to as many people as they can reach. Um, now, a few ways to really encourage your news to be spread or to encourage buzz to occur around uh, your company, you know, and, and this is really coming down to the fact that buyers and your target audience are doing more than just absorbing your news and they might be telling their neighbors or family members. They are immediately sharing it with their 200 friends on Facebook and Twitter because they can and because something they're in was enticing enough to pass along. So in order to become that, that piece of news or that piece of uh, publication that becomes something spread, try these three things. And the first is to, um, you know, some, somewhat trivial, but say something interesting. Um, this means something not only interesting to you and maybe sometimes not even something that you're interested in, but something that your target audiences are interested in. So you can be uh, vested in something, you can be interested in something, but it really comes down to what your consumers are looking for. From there, you need to say it well. This means that you fix your typos, reread what you write, and articulate your meaning in a manner that most people can understand. So try to avoid jargon if you have to use it. Define what it is that you're saying for others who may not know its definition already. And lastly, speak to a cause, quote unquote. This can be something as controversial as you'd like, though as a business trying to make revenue from a more conservative group, this may be something you should avoid. Instead, think of other causes that people are fighting for every day. Saving money, furthering education, helping others, being part of a group, etc. There are many, many causes that you can speak to, so take some time in crafting your message. Just remember, what you consider to be important, and this is something I've already mentioned, can be pretty much irrelevant. Your decisions need to be fueled by the wants, needs, and thoughts of your customers. Uh, again, what you think is pretty much irrelevant. Your opinion of your company is not something anybody wants to hear about. It's what your buyers, customers, and the general public think of your company that matters. They are the ones that spread your news. They review your products. They create buzz for you. As such, you should probably be catering to their needs and wants and start listening. This new PR thing involves two-way communication. Thank you for watching this businesstraining.com video. I hope you've enjoyed it. To learn more about the training and certification programs that we offer, please visit our homepage at businesstraining.com.